Hello everyone, I'm Clau, I've been a K-pop fan since 2010, sometimes I make grammar mistakes and I have problem expressing myself, so I don't know how this video is going to end this. <sighs> so, at last, I'm listening to more about your new mini album, which it's called Tomorrow, I think? Mini song number three. Uh, I have no idea what to expect, like, none. Deja vu, I love, 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 love. Love the song. It has so much second in second gen uh, energy and vibe. So now I really have no idea what to expect music-wise from this mini album. I'm excited, super, super, super excited. So without further ado, let's just jump to it. I will see you there tomorrow. Oh boy! First thing first, just because I like a group. Uh, or an artist doesn't mean that I have to love all of the music. I have likes and dislikes. Sometimes there's going to be songs that are not the style of music that I like to listen. Again, not a bad song. Just not my style. Everyone has different tastes. Did I say that right? Uh, and second, uh, there's going to be pauses. Maybe two or three pauses per song. Like, I have no idea. So... I will see you there tomorrow. I'll treat you on a play. This part, I love it. <laughs> Also, the vibe of the song, I, uh, how do, how do I say it? My brain somehow immediately went like, this is a song that it could be in shiny discography. You know what I mean? And that's a compliment. Uh, I has a tiny bit of summer vibe in it. You know, it's uh, also like I said, it's maybe more two thousand and then like two thousand fifteen or so, two thousand thirteen. I don't know. I had that vibe from it. <laughs> say the Chinese so it, it will go well like on into the view album which right now I don't remember what was called and what year it came I think view coming like 2015 or so more or less there a few years maybe earlier or a few years later I don't know but I think it will go, will go. <laughs> I would imagine, oh no, I could imagine this song beer on the view album, which I'm going to put on screen was the was name of the album because I, my brain, it's, I'm bad with titles. <laughs> Oh, I 
Terminator does robotic voice, so 2000. It went so smooth from Subir to take you into Huninkai. Like, I, I don't know, it sounded so smooth the transition between the members. I don't know, I found it amazing. I, I don't know, I sometimes I like the most random stuff. <laughs> I love, 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 love the song again. I think I've said everything that I wanted to say during the poses. It it sounds like that auto tune and robotic voice sounds so 2000, but also 2015, if I make sense. And not just specifically K pop scene, like I said. It has very summer vibes to it, and I love it. I love it. I think if it's season, seasonal music, the only one that I like is summer. And then maybe spring, but most of the time spring song has a more cuteness in it and sometimes I'm not in the mood of cute, cute music. Uh, I hate the all the ballads that come in autumn and I'm not really fond of winter songs, especially Christmas ones. <laughs> So next we are having uh, eight seconds more scold. Wait, I need to know. I could just just look up if we're already what the more scold translates to, but I want to do it my own. Let's see, more scold. Uh. Let's see. Ah, one line, three lines, two lines. I think it was called like dash, dash, three dash. Stop, dash, stop, stop, dash, stop. Dash, dash, dash. Stop, dash, dash. Okay, now let's see. And one line. And one dash, Ooh, it's a T. Free line. Oh. Two line, two dash. It's dash dash stopper line. How do we say it? On that Morse code. M. Free lines again. It's O. And there's. Tube stop dash stop. Is it tomorrow? Because a free dash is also no O. Let's see R. Yep. W. Yep. <laughs> tomorrow. So, tomorrow, which is 8 seconds, I suppose it's just the Morse cold. Like, tum, 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 No, wait. I, I don't know Morse code. Let's see. Play. See? Oh my god. Oh my god, the nostalgia. Do you know why I get nostalgia? Their debut. 
especially am i remember correctly that when they were showing their uh, individual teasers when they debuted they had more scores in it and where people uh, like deciphering the Morse code oh my god that's why I have nostalgia back to when they debuted oh they had the Morse code idea since their debut so when I saw Morse code I forgot that they also had Morse code in the, during the debut oh my god the memories oh such a great time was back then after 2020 everything went to shit <laughs> Uh, next, Miracle. It's going to have a more sad song. Sound. You, Space. You. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's nothing without you. Oh. One, two, three, Again, I why I'm getting 2015 music wise, not just K pop specifically. And also, I think Miracle goes really well with I will see you there tomorrow. It's like it's the same sphere. Do I? Uh, someone gets what I'm saying? Like it's nothing new from TXT having uh, most of the song following that this story uh, album wise if I make sense <laughs> Or was that Bongyu rapping? Okay, okay. a specific song that came to my brain which is totally different but I don't know why I hope that so I'm trying to find it it gives you again youth energy like a youthful band The song that came into my brain when I listened like the second time the chorus it was a, a song by G Dragon which right now I don't remember what's called and I'm trying to find it You on the cup did that Crooked So it's like in the same uh not it's the same sound, but I, I don't know why my main mind went there. Maybe it's similar genre. 
And that's, it's from 2013. So that time, 2000, like I said, between 2010 and 2015. <laughs> it's, which just reminds me both, um, something, 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 something tomorrow <laughs> in miracle. I'm forget, like my short term memory is very bad. So I can read five times the title after 10 minutes. I don't remember. I will see you there tomorrow. My God. And uh, again, not to really emo punk, but uh, still somehow not have really been type of music early every Levine. Uh, yeah. But that mood, you know, why it is tomorrow for now? Uh, the mini album sounds a tiny bit more hopeful than their. Uh, what's the name of their Minnesota 2? Uh, Free Fall. Because Free Fall also has some hopeful songs, but it more, more like was a journey from being depressed and hopeful little by little. But this one started like more hopeful from the start. Like, deja vu is uh, still hopeful, but also very hurt. Like that's how it sounds. I made no sense. So the killer, I belong to you. Uh, play. It's like an army ballad. Tell me some talk, I go ahead. You know I want your best, show me mercy. Oh, yeah, so come young, you're gonna knock him. Turn us over, so it's hard to judge. Want you to tame me now? Cause I'm not gonna let you go, but you're worth it. What's the matter with me? Who knows? Cause I'm not that good, so I'm sorry. I'm not your girl. So kill off. I'm just your only one, not me. No matter, I can't give up. Much more than I got. It's not fully Iron B. But it has some some Latin flair to it. Let's get up. 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 Let's get up.
the end of a relationship. I don't know why I get tired of that vibe. I like the hurt that guitar. Dum, 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 dum. I suppose it's okay. The guitar. I can. I, at first, I didn't know what to feel about it. I was like, maybe it's not my style of music. It's still. Uh, maybe I have to listen more times to get to a, a, a opinion about the killer. Like if, but I still think it's going to be one of the songs that I'm going to listen depending on the mood that I, I am. But the second part, I like it more than the first part. That's when I was like, okay, this sounds great on the second, on the second part. But again, it just is the first listen. The opinions can change. Quarter life. Why is most of them are so short? Uh, play. Quarter life. Do you think I die in a pool in the mar? Seven eight jim got on king king tunnel. No more king king tunnel. Joy did it. Adam now, some sort of jig and put it. Kim diggy man and they are in happy at all. I ain't happy at all. So me Back to that youthful sound in hope. And since I don't know the lyrics, it can be depressing. <laughs> sound like uh, those music like I like that Avril Lavigne on Green Day the m music escape back then like a uh, fallout boy wow early fallout boy that I don't know why I get that sound from it like more than the sound that genre so yeah, like it still goes well with the theme of the album, which I suppose since the song it's tomorrow, uh, maybe they go for the way like tomorrow is going to be a better day. Because like I said, everything sounds a tiny bit more hopeful. The songs like I expect that tomorrow. Not that everything is going to be better. Like, not going to be suddenly better, but little by little, uh, day by day, maybe my feelings and my mental space is going to get better. You know? That's uh, the thing that I get from the minute. I always love when they don't censor the swearing. <laughs> It's like it's not a cra uh, the forties crisis is the twenties crisis, <laughs> which fair. 
I also had one in <laughs> my twenties, my early twenties. Because most of the times in the in your twenties in the middle quarter life, it's like you still most of the time you have no idea what you want. Like uh, it's immediately after being a teenager and having no worries, and then suddenly you go into the world, uh, and you have to have different possibilities and also people tell you to get your life together but it's like you don't feel like you are prepared and you are very confused about the world you know that's also the vibe that i get from the (laughs) album after confusion like there's still hope you know so last one i had I am really not fond of remixes. Like I never uh, liked a remix of songs. Uh, there's very, very rare occasions. Very, very rare occasion. If the song was too slow and suddenly with the remix you make it more upbeat, that's the chance that I'm going to like it maybe. <laughs> So and now I'm curious about how the Animoya remix is going to be. Uh, play. How much that guitar changes. Now, Deja Vu with the Animoya remix, it uh, goes more well with the album now than Deja Vu alone. Like, uh, escape wise. You know what I mean? Deja Vu is an amazing song. And uh, also goes well with that theme of the album musically. But the Animoya remix goes better with like the story music. Uh, story music work. Like with uh, Quarter Life Miracle and I Will See You There Tomorrow. You know, it sounds more similar to those songs now than just Deja Vu by itself. Did that make sense? Did I express well? And everyone gets in the guitar. guys think they've chosen Animoya because there's an a similar words with Moa even for there's a letter in the middle <laughs> I don't think they that's why they choose the word but my brain somehow went there and also now it sounds more aggressive Did we have sirens in the original? I don't think so. Like, 
this remix has different emotion than deja vu. It has, like I said, a tiny bit more anger in it. But also maybe uh, even more. Um, oh, how do you say it? Ah, determination. If it makes sense. The album, it's great. Uh, it's, if I have to choose, like, a first listen ranking, a Deja Vu first place. Animoya mix. Second. Maybe even first. <laughs> uh, both Deja Vu version are amazing. Uh, the Dane. Uh, I will see you there tomorrow. Quarter Life. Miracle the Killer? I think this is like the first listen ranking for now. Uh, the more I'm going to listen to the album, the more for sure this is going to change, maybe. Um, like I said, this mini sold, I think it's like a more hopeful vibe or maybe a tiny bit more determination to do a better tomorrow you know because mini shot 2 was angst especially with the uh good one gone bad even for a first day child has far to go it's that was a most hopeful it has a very hopeful sound lyric wise i don't remember opening sequences had more <sighs> angst <laughs> it. so I think that's it I don't know what to say anymore uh, I always when it's afternoon my brain doesn't work as great when it's in the morning maybe if I had time in the morning and do the reaction maybe I would say some other stuff I think that's it I really, really, really enjoyed the album. With the, every time I, after I listen to the album, I'm curious how the next album is going to be already. Even if it's just dropped. You know, because they make so different genres and you never know how their comeback is going to sound. And I'm always excited. So I think that's it. If anyone watching the end, thank you very much. And bye-bye.